there's a lot going on. Like, I don't know if you guys know this, but there's literally a floating island of garbage in the middle of the ocean right now. Yeah. I think it's called Puerto Rico. Okay. All right. Okay. We're getting there. And I'm so proud that we're getting support from Latinos like never before. We're setting every record. Hispanics, Latinos, nobody loves our Latino community and our Puerto Rican community more than I do. Nobody. Around Lehigh Avenue in Philadelphia, the sights and sounds of Puerto Rico are everywhere. After generations of living in the U.S., they wear their Puerto Rican stamp proudly. Puerto Ricans were not amused to hear a supposed comedian stand by the side of Trump in New York calling their country an island of garbage. Behind the sounds of salsa now sits a sense of anger. If you buy a ticket to see him, joking, that's different. But that wasn't inappropriate. That wasn't the place to say that. Do you think that as a result, many Puerto Ricans will uh, not vote Republican, they'll vote Democrat? I believe so. I believe he can lose the election because of that. She is not alone in thinking that. Down the street, a meeting has been called. And our greatest act of defiance is to vote. Our greatest way to protest is to vote. Who has the power? We have the power. Who has the power? We have the power. Who has the power? We have the power. Gracias. Well, I will tell you that all the rhetoric that has been said about Latinos and the Puerto Rican community, we're energized to turn out to vote and send a strong message that we don't want a president who says negative things about our community. And do you think this remark could become his undoing in Pennsylvania? You know, when you call the island of Puerto Rico trash, you better believe that the Puerto Rican community will turn out to vote. Latino anger has surfaced well beyond Lehigh Avenue in Philadelphia. Just Philadelphia has a population of 90,000 Puerto Ricans and the Democrats consider comparatively one Pennsylvania in the last election by just 82,000 votes. And it's not just Puerto Ricans. Most Latinos seem not to have found that joke funny and there are 600,000 of them around Pennsylvania. And this is a swing state with the results sitting on knife edge. A candidate has to take one wrong step to fall. There are clear signs that anger over this is widespread. This is absolutely an election issue. Um, you know, when, when someone shows you who they are, we must believe them. Trump has consistently shown the Puerto Rican community and the immigrant community who he is and how he feels about them. Um, he has made immigration and immigrate, immigrant issues um, part of his platform, and we are going to respond to him uh, in, on, on November 5th. There did follow then that sequel from Biden. He said in a Zoom meeting what sounded like the only garbage I see out there is Trump's supporters. We heard the word supporters, but introduced an apostrophe between the R and S of that word supporters. As the White House says, we would be talking just of that Trump supporter who cracked that non-joke. This presidential campaign has had its twists and turns, but who would have thought that a political dispute could hang on a grammatical defense as such as this. In any case, here in the Puerto Rican quarter of Philadelphia, nobody is thinking grammar, nobody is thinking Biden's apostrophe. They are thinking Trump's non-apology, and many plan to vote accordingly. <laughs>